for us because we have zero, zero experience, zero knowledge, and this guy who's already a veteran in the software industry comes in and says, I want to help you guys. I am. He's like, oh, thank you. Thank you, Lord. This is, this is a great place. Um, so that was another legitimizer. And then I, could, I, I immediately called my parents. So you don't worry about anything, money, but see, and they were also, you know what, given all these things, let him do his thing. And that were also mental piece of our decision, and then we, we all, all, all did this. Um, so me and my then March month we launched, uh, college man, Harry senior, last year, man, March month we launched. Uh, we stopped going to class. Puri uh, semester version, we stopped going to class. Uh, because I think Hamdi Zaki realized very many, we were learning so much from doing the business um, that it was pointless to go to class and, and, and fall asleep. And every lecture, I realized that. Last minute, I was just like sleeping or so, so I was like, this is, this is an epic waste of time. Um, and then my, my co founders felt the same way. So we would work at night during the day if we did have to attend, especially midterm system, or whatever, we would go. But we completely avoided that because this was, we realized that. You know, our growth doing this business, we are going to achieve so much than going to class. Um, so we wanted to invest in this learning experience, and, and, and that's, that's when we were like, okay, you know what, we're going to continue doing this. So March when we launched the product, um, I mean, one thing that we still naive, I'm still learning, again, while when I say I'm the youngest and I'm also the most inexperienced, still when I say we were thinking, um, your product launch was overnight, they have a the tech crunch, Mashable, or they, they will publish it. And then we're going to be like, WhatsApp just still, Facebook is going to come to us and buy the business in tw for 20 million. Um, and then, like, the next day we realize, no, this is not going to happen. <laughs> Third day we realize, no, you know, customers do don't just come to you. You have to go to the customer, especially in the beginning. So we started the process again, okay. What I'm going to do, my role in the company, is to bring in customers. So I started cold calling. Mazda restaurant, or like Philadelphia, I just made a list of restaurants that needed a website overhaul. And a website, Urana website, the website now back, a restaurant with phone number data. Once that phone got it, I started calling. The first restaurant we called, Ethiopian restaurant in Philadelphia, he was like, yeah, I'm interested, come. And I was like, wow, it's so easy to get a customer. <laughs> and we went, immediately he was like, I want to get started on it. He took out $144, take it. We're like, wow, I was like, this is gonna, this is gonna go really well. Then the next hundred businesses I called didn't convert. Um, but what did what I did learn in the process was sales, right? It's like how do you refine the pitch? What is the pain points? Like if you're able to address the pain points, you'll get the customer's interest, but also the resistance. So we did invest a lot, a lot in the learning process. Um, so after graduation, we moved to New York. Um, New York City, I, think, I, I get this question a lot, especially in America. I'm like, Kina Silicon Valley is on one. Like, why did you go to New York? Um, for several le reasons. I think, again, like going back to the luck aspect, Miro University alumni network is not strong, uh, especially in New York. Um, so, all the top, like, you know, investors, prominent investors, also venture capital firms, or nothing, there was some connection to some alumni or something. So, we felt that, you know, for us, being so young and inexperienced, it is important to be in a community. Um, that helps us, you know, we, we did need some early mentorship money on like I think it was very necessary. So one New York for that reason um, two we um, We wanted to seek some investment and um, I think New York is a New York not the like some growing tech community I think we were like, okay, let's let's seek some investment in New York and third and which is actually very important for us Amro company method we've developed this work hard play hard culture where, I mean, by Stace Boxa, we just graduated from college. Like, we, we don't believe in working um, 24 hours a day. I mean, we do work 24 hours, not 24 hours. We do work a lot of hours during the week. The weekend, by the way, especially Fridays or Saturdays, I like to cool it off and just have fun. And in New York, they generally, we felt like was a good city for us. So we made the plunge and went to New York. New York, because of the lack of funds, we seen that as a You're a one bedroom apartment, Leon. Um, so one bedroom, I think, that bed. Living room, we had our office. Ani, our bedroom, we had our office. 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 We had
an exciting, great learning process, but it was also very frustrating. Um, I would say I would call that our true like struggle period, having you know that living that experience. I definitely were still struggling, but I think over well, time we have our own bedroom, <laughs> uh, so that's that's good. Uh, so post college time, one of the things that we focus on is also um, building our Nepal team. So one thing that we did identify, how many Nepal team from our time, why did they uh, we had contractors uh, working working with contractors uh, to build websites, templates, stamp in Nepal, body got them. So in Nepal, we realized that hey, like there's immense, there's great talent in Nepal. Um, why don't we just you know build this this team simultaneously? Because of our idea, I had kids have by America, especially tech community, they 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 don't believe in building uh, building a community in the U.S. It's all about building a global team. And second, it's, it's about building a global business. And, and for us, I think that was very important. So I'm in Nepal who build team like we started like, you know, contractors that we, we are actually involved, you know, with them more and more. And eventually at some point, um, December of uh, 2013, then we, we decided to bring bring them on full time. So we were like, okay, you know what? Um, this contractor thing is not, not good for us. We actually want to invest in the team for the long run. So long run, ma'am, they use global team like Kosari Borough. So we actually made, um, hire some, some awesome talented people. They're actually sitting there back there, Susan Zira Pradeepji. Um, so yeah, so, and we're also hiring, by the way. So if you're looking for an engineering position in an awesome New York based startup, uh, <laughs> please, please visit them. Um, yeah, so that was, we moved to New York and we decided that, okay, we also need some, some funding to, to, to scale growth. Um, so we, uh, using our alumni network, we raised some money from some really good investors who believed in us. Uh, we, we struggled, but it was you know four months of the most annoying and painful time of our lives when every morning the potential investor go email out and they start asking, Facebook ad Google ad Why did the traffic go down? And then, like all this thing, it, w it was a great experience. But you know, we, we were able to raise some 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 investment from key investors. Um, now, key investors, man, they think they, they bring two kinds of values. One is saying monetary value that you invest in growth. Second, saying unyeko network. I think that for us was more important because how many saying unyeko network like tap water How do we grow our business? Um, so we so we were able to do that. Um, so now, like I think. I just want to move to some, some challenges that we've been facing. I think one of the biggest challenges that I face 